Another interesting week here around the Finger Lakes and uh, everywhere of which I like to see. So you know what? Thing is, I've got a unique thing to start talking about this week. First, about a guy who supposedly has become my niece's big idol. Of course, he was found not liable for an incident that happened 11 years ago. Yes, Rick Springfield was found not liable in a Syracuse civil court for causing a woman's injury, debilitating injuries. Supposedly, she claimed when Springfield played at the New York State Fair in 2004 that when he fell off the stage, his butt hit her, caused it, causing a debilitating injuries to her. Well, of course, a performer falling off the stage is unique in itself, especially when Meatloaf did it a long time ago. Of course, Rick Springfield probably was looking for Jesse's girl when he fell off the stage. But what, what about that claim? His butt causing debilitating injuries? Hmm. Makes you wonder why it wasn't Mark Sanchez instead of Rick Springfield. Of course, Mark Sanchez probably was saying, I've done everything for you and you've done nothing for me. But please, don't talk to strangers. What kind of fool am I to talk about that anyway? You know, it must have been an affair of the heart, because you know, he's got, Springfield's got the human touch. But you know, you better love somebody or you'll better bop to your drop. As you know, we better celebrate youth. All right, enough stringing together some of Springfield's hits. That kind of claim that Springfield's butt caused debilitating injuries makes you wonder. What if it was Kim Kardashian caught, uh, performing there at the State Fair? You know, somebody wouldn't mind if her ass sets fell into the fell into the crowd and caused a debilitating injury. Cause you know what, Miss Kardashian and her family doesn't need that money. What's the only thing Kim Kardashian and her family are known for? Bickering like uh, idiots or her assets. Or, you know, it could have been like Jennifer Lopez causing debilitating injury by somebody being hit by her melons, which nearly came out of her dress at the Golden Globes. One false move and we would have had a Disney sound effect, you know. Er, oi! Er, doom. Oh, what the hell. Enough about talking about somebody's assets or their melons. Thing is, I'm going to start talking about something serious. Well, it's been a tough time in Phelps the last month. Yeah, because of auto accidents and because of a fire. Eight people have died. And it's been a really hard month for the fire department there in Phelps and in our Oaks Corners. But that was a nice article that was in the Finger Lakes Times. And kudos to my cousin, who is a member of the Oaks Corners Fire Department and is the chaplain there. Steve DeChick is one good guy, and he's had more than his share to deal with this past month. You know, my hat's off to you, cousin. I mean, Steve, you always are a good dude, and you know... Hopefully this will get you through this tough time. And I mean, Jake has also had to deal with more than his share of loss this past month. So you know what? Prayers to everybody over there in Phelps, especially the fire department. And also to Steve and Jacob DeChick and the DeChick family. And also, I mean, I want to say something about Aaliyah DeChick. She is a nice young lady. And I'm, I don't know whether she wants to follow in Steve and Jake's uh, footsteps to be a firefighter, but you know, she better wear something other than her Sunday pants. You know, they're holy. Well, enough about that. Well, Rex Ryan had his first press conference there as the coach of the Bills. And as usual, it was filled with all of his comments. And, of course, some people said his usual bluster. Well, sometimes I'm just wondering when Ryan's going to put his foot in his mouth. But you know what? 
me and other Bills fans are holding him to his promise that he's going to deliver that the Bills are going to make a big charge for the Super Bowl. He's not guaranteeing it a la Joe Namath, but he's going to say, hey, we're going to be bullies, and you know what? You're going to be afraid to play the Buffalo Bills. Ryan, I'm holding you to that message. You know, when you were the coach of the Jets, a lot of times I didn't want to hear you. But you know, us Bills fans want to see results. We've had 15 years of empty promises. And I'm hoping that you can deliver on what you promise. And it's not going to be that usual bluster that you've been known for when you were the Jets coach. But you made some pretty good hires, especially with your coordinators. Let's hope that, I mean, for however long Ralph Wilson Stadium is around before this new stadium, which they're looking at in downtown Buffalo, is built. Let's hope you can get the Bills back and get us a quarterback that can lead us. Of course, certain pundits say Mark Sanchez is maybe a free agent you're going to bring in. But hopefully, he's not going to have a butt fumble, if you know what I mean. I mean, the only butt fumble I would like is if I hit off of Kim Kardashian or Jennifer Lopez's butt. As somebody especially me and others, wouldn't mind seeing their assets. Hmm. Well, enough about that. Well, what, what do you think about the enigma that is the Syracuse University basketball team? Hell, they had to go to overtime to beat Wake Forest in the Dome. And what was an exciting game, and heck, Wake Forest nearly hit a three-quarter court shot. But then they go down there to Clemson, and they totally tank. Hell, brick after brick after brick after brick was thrown up by the Orange there against the Tigers. Hell, I'm wondering what kind of a house they're going to build with all of those bricks. And also, 66-53. to 53. What a loss. And of course, we got to get ourselves organized. Boston College is coming into the Dome tomorrow night. The Orange have definitely got to get things in order. Because, hey, I don't want to build any more houses with all of those bricks. Especially the ones Trevor Cooney threw up. And Cooney was getting a little hot from three-point range. But boy, he decided to do what Elmer Fudd did with Bugs Bunny. You getting warm you getting warm, Doc. Now you getting colder. <laughs> well, that's all the time I got le left for here this week. That's my rant and raving. And happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, everybody. I'm Ken Oss, and those are my rants for this week. <laughs>